y'all welcome back so today I was just feeling fun do you know what I mean <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying so today I was just playing with my hair I did these cute little half up space bun things and it just really got me in the mood to just play with color so that's what we're doing again today we're playing with a little bit of color I feel like we should get this out of our system before summer's over do you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying. If you guys want to learn how to get this super bright, colorful, crazy, wild, I don't know where you're going to wear this look, then just keep watching. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. It would mean the world to me if you would join the York fam. Hit the little bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. And let's get into this tutorial. Okay, y'all. So to get this look started, we're going to start with our Pro Fusion Festival palette. And I'm going to use this hot pink shade that's right in the middle. And I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to just initially start packing it on the outer third of the eye up into the crease. So you just want to work a little bit at a time, building this up slowly. Don't worry about blending until you get the color really packed on there really good. Then you can see I'll take a little brush and start to blend out the edges. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with this beautiful Morphe 35H palette and pick up this hot pink coral shade. And I'm just going to pack that over the first pink that we put down. I just wanted it to be a little bit more bright and vibrant. So I'm doing the same steps with the pencil brush, same brush, and just packing that all over that hot pink on the outer third. And then I'll just very lightly blend out right on the edges of that to make it a nice smooth transition up to the brow area. So just take your time with bright colors because they can be a little bit tricky. Then I'm going to use the Profusion Festival palette again and pick up this aqua blue color same pencil brush I'm just gonna pack that right in the middle third of the eye and I'm just gonna work on packing that on first and then blending it a little bit when you start to blend it it does kind of blend away the color a little bit so you have to go back and pack a little bit more but just try to make the two blend nicely from the pink to the blue that's basically all this tutorial is is just making the colors fade nicely from one to the next and then I'll just blend over the edges, pack a little bit more on, blend it out, go back with a little bit of pink, blend that into the blue just so it fades nicely. Then I'm going to take this yellow shade from that same Profusion palette and a little bit of a smaller pencil brush, but it's still like a dome shaped pencil brush, and I'm going to pack that on the inner third of the eye. So doing the same thing, packing it on, blending it out, making sure it blends into the blue nicely. You get the drift. It's the same thing over and over. <laughs> Then I decided I wanted to add shimmer. I didn't really like the matte all over the eye look. So I'm gonna take corresponding colors, the blue, the pink, the yellow, and I'm just gonna put a little shimmer on because I felt like it, it just needed it, you know what I mean? So I just took a little flat synthetic brush, sprayed my brush with a little bit of setting spray, and then we're just gonna pack on corresponding colors. So then I used the yellow from that Profusion palette, packed it over the yellow part of the lid, and just kind of flipped it over into the blue just to make it blend really nice and seamless. Um, I really like it with the shimmer on it versus the matte. It just really adds a little bit more pizzazz and spunk. So then I'm gonna use this loose pigment from Jessie's Girl. This is just a loose eyeshadow shimmer pigment and it's really, really beautiful. And I got this from the drugstore and I'm just gonna pack that over the pink area because my palette didn't really have a pink shimmer that I wanted to use, so I'm gonna use this pigment do the same thing, just pack it on, kind of flicking it over into the blue, making sure it stays nice and sparkly. So don't swipe with uh, shimmers really, it, they will come out better if you just pack them on. Then I'm gonna use the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. I love this gel liner. I love using gel liners for if I'm gonna do a wing. So I'm taking an angled brush and I'm just gonna do a nice thin line right at the base of my lashes and um, this gel liner is just amazing like you guys you should pick it up it's from the drugstore it's freaking amazing so I'm just gonna do a nice thin line and then right on the end I'm gonna do the tiniest little baby wing that you've ever seen I didn't want anything to take away from the eyes but I think that it just enhances it and really makes the color stand out then this is the L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara it's one of my favorites you guys have seen me use this a million times but it's really really good it makes your lashes super fluffy and thick I really love that about this mascara and it's super affordable too then for primer I'm gonna go in with the makeup forever step one mattifying primer this is an amazing primer if you get oily throughout the day just to put that in your t-zone your cheeks and your nose and your forehead and your chin to just help keep you matte all day it's so great 
Then I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation, one of my favorites, you guys. And I'm using the Morphe M439 Foundation Brush, as always, and I'll just dot a little bit on my face and blend it out with the brush. And I don't bring it too far underneath my eyes because I know that I'm going to put concealer there, so I don't want any extra product just under my eyes for no reason. So I'll just put it everywhere except for like right up underneath my eyes because next I'm going to go in with concealer and all that jazz. So make sure you blend it down your neck also so that your face and your body all match. Then I'm going to use this LA Girl concealer to like bronze up the skin today. So it's you know basically like using a cream bronzer but it's just a concealer. So I just swipe it on where I want to bronze up and then blend it out. So this brush that I'm using is like an angled brush, but it's still kind of fluffy. It's not kind of stiff or dome-like like a foundation brush. It's kind of got that fluffiness, long hairs to it. So it really makes it look airbrushed, and like just really flawless and smooth. And um, if I can suggest anything whenever you're using like dark concealers to bronze or anything, just add a little bit, blend it out. You can always go in and add a little bit more. You'll see me do that in a second. But just blend it out, see what that looks like, see if it's you know dark enough for you, bronze enough for you. And then you can always go in right here and just add a little bit more if you want to make your skin even more tan. Do you know what I'm saying? But um, this brush is really amazing to blend out cream products and I really love it. And it's just a random brush that I got in my Ipsy Clay bag one month and I ended up really loving it. So then for concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Neutralizer. This is a great, great drugstore concealer, so I'm just going to put that kind of on the sides of my nose and up underneath my eyes, kind of in this triangle shape. And this is a little bit of a brighter concealer on me right now because I'm kind of tan, so um, this is really going to brighten up the eyes. I think that if you're wearing bright, bold eyes, it's kind of important to go a little bit lighter with your concealer so that it really makes the eyes pop and you know doesn't look too dark or anything like that to brighten up the face really is complimentary if you're wearing bright bright eyes and then I'll just go back with that brush that I use the contour with and just kind of smooth over the edges on my cheeks right there this is the wet n wild mega glow or, or mega contour highlight situation and I love to use this little setting banana shade to set all the concealer then I'll use my Morphe bronzer. This is an amazing bronzer. It's pretty new to me and I'm just loving, loving, loving using it. I'm using a very long haired brush because it's very pigmented bronzer and I don't want to put on too much. So this is a very long haired fluffy brush to just set all that cream bronzing that we did. Then I'm going to use this Bang Beauty blush. It is really pretty. It's kind of a coral color and it has a little shimmer in it so it really looks great on the cheeks like when it hits that like um, highlight area, uh, what do you call it, the tops of your cheekbones, it just glows and it just looks so good and natural and it just brings a nice beautiful pink to your cheeks. So then I'm going to use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Highlight and Luminous Light is the shade and this is just a great highlight. Everyone should own this highlight. I can't say any more good things about it than I've already said. I just go on and on about it all the time. This is an amazing brush too. It's my everything brush from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. Then with this Wet n Wild, this is a loose highlight. You can see right here. It's a pretty new highlight for me. And I'm going to use a more precise brush and I'm going to hit that right on the tops of my cheekbones just to you know really make it pop and be glowy because we're already looking crazy we might as well just shine to the heavens so then after that we're gonna finish up this lower lash line I'm gonna go back in with that 35H palette pick up that corally pinky shade and I'm gonna use this on a stiff smudger brush and I'm just going to really pack that all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner and just really smudge it out with this little short brush this is really going to complete the eyes, bring everything together. Then I'll go back with that blue shimmery shade and this little tiny pencil brush and I'm just going to hit that right in the center, right where it kind of matches on the top. I'm going to do that on the bottom. Then I'm going to use this really light yellow shimmer shade as my inner corner highlight. So I use another little tiny pencil brush and you can see that it's a lighter yellow shimmer but it still does have that yellow tone to it so it really pops on the inner corner. So I'm going to put that there and then we're going to use this Morphe 
eyeliner in the shade Coconut. It's white, and I really think that a white eyeliner looks awesome whenever you have bright colors on your eyes because it really opens up your eyes, really draws attention to your eyes. Then I will just coat my lower lashes as always. I can't not do this step. It's super important. I really think that it just completes the look because then your top lashes and your bottom lashes match. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara. It's my favorite because it just separates and lengthens all your lashes and makes them look so good. Then we're going to move on to lips. I'm going to use, as always, if I want a nude lip, I'm going to use my go-to, my Morphe Backseat Love and Sweet Tea Lip Liner. Today I did, actually did Sweet Tea first, and then I went in with Backseat Love, and I just really like to mix those two together. I really just think they make such a great nude combination. So I just do that, and I blend it out with a brush, really mix them together, and they're amazing. You guys, if you just you need them, okay? You need them in your life. I can't live without them. You'll, you'll thank me later. Then I'm going to use this Maybelline Matte Lipstick in the shade 540. It's just a really light pink nude, and I'm going to blend that out with my lips, like, you know, making that really awesome looking face right there. <laughs> and then I'll use my finger and just kind of blend it up into the lip liner. And then we are done. This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I want to get all this colorness, colorfulness, colorful eyes out of my system because this isn't really fall appropriate if you know what I'm saying. I was just like playing with my hair and I did these cute little buns and I was like, oh my god, that's so cute, right? Hey y'all, welcome back. So today I'm on a crazy train. Like, oh my god, let's do crazy makeup to go with my crazy hair. Let's just all aboard, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to board the crazy train with me, just hit subscribe. Subscribe. Is it just me or do I look like Mickey Mouse? Minnie Mouse? Yeah. Yeah. I do. So if you want to be crazy and look crazy with me today, then keep watching.